send you horrible luck. This week on Burnt Wolf Airsoft, it's time to talk airsoft terminology and give some of you new players an insight into the strange language that us airsofters have created around the sport. First things first, let's have a look at some of the most important and commonly used ones. Eye Pro. This is simply a shortened down way of saying eye protection. And this is the same for Face Pro. It's got nothing to do with having professional looking eyes and face. Now another common one, Chrono. This is simply short for Chronograph, the device that sites use to test the FPS of airsoft guns. And while we're talking FPS, FPS is simply feet per second. And using both of these and a BB's weight, you can work out the joules of an airsoft gun. A joule is just a measure of power. The UK joule limit is about 1.2 joules. If a gun is described as hot, it's over the limits for either its FPS or its joules. Few more airsoft gun related terms for you now. By now, you should be realizing that airsofters like to shorten things down and use abbreviations and acronyms. There are three different types of general gun you will hear about on the airsoft field. Rifts, ifs, and real steels. Rifts are real imitation firearms. You'll need your UCARA license or UK Airsoft Retailers Association license to buy one of these. Then there's ifs. Ifs are imitation firearms. Painted in bright colors, they are also known as two-tones. Then there's real steels. This is simply talking about the real, actual, proper version of a gun. Uh, don't bring one of these to airsoft. Then there are more subtypes of airsoft guns. All of these can be rifts or ifs, depending on how they're painted. Starting with the most common type out there, AEG. This simply means automatic electric gun. Then there's HPAs. This is another type. It stands for high pressure air. Then there are GBBs and EBBs. Simply gas blowback and electric blowback. Different ways of adding kick to an airsoft gun. Sometimes these are called EBBRs and GBBRs. Not often used, but occasionally you'll hear of a gun described as NBB. It simply stands for non blowback, so it doesn't kick when fired. While we're on the subject of gas blowbacks, you'll hear these thrown around a lot too. Green gas, red gas, and black gas. Green gas is the simple term used for the propane and silica mix that is used to power these airsoft guns. Red and black gas is simply green gas mixed differently so as to have a better performance in the cold or to provide a bit more oomph to an airsoft gun's power. Then there's the batteries for the AEGs. There's NIMA and LiPo. Both are just batteries. The LiPos are more powerful, but not for the uninitiated, as they take a bit more work than NIMAs. All guns shoot at different speeds. A few terms that are used to describe this is ROF, or rate of fire, or a more precise description, RPM. Normally this is used for spinny things, but at Airsoft, RPM stands for rounds per minute. And then for the even more anal out there, there's RPS, or rounds per second. Now a few things on the Airsoft Max. There's high cap, low cap, and mid cap. This is very easy to remember. It's simply the amount of BBs a mag holds. Airsofters will often go on about mid and low caps being better for sneaking as they don't rattle like the high cappers do. Now, moving away from guns and onto the grenades, sometimes you'll hear the phrase BFG chucked around. For those who've played Doom, no, it's not big ficking gun. It's blank firing grenade. Just a grenade that uses percussion caps from bullets to make a bang. Glorified cap bombs, basically. Now, a couple of things to do with gear. Loadout. Simply the whole package. Everything they're wearing for a day shoot, including the gun. Then there's tons of abbreviations out there for camo, like TPM, MTP, etc. Haven't got time to go into all of these, but if someone starts going on about their loadout being an DPM, MTP, ATT, PPP, then just smile and nod. They're simply talking about their color scheme. Then there is this one. I actually never knew this one myself until I looked it up. Wrist rails. Wrist rail simply stands for rail interface system. The things that people love to bury in sights and other attachments. And that's a few of the words used at Airsoft. And now you can understand what a player's on about when they say they're having some trouble with their two-tone EBBR AEG at the Chrono because the FPS is a bit hot and they're down to running their DPM loadout and nothing more than a BFG. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Airsoft tips, tricks, reviews and how-tos. Anyway... Back to whatever you were doing. At ease.